Recently, NASA has awarded a $2.9 billion human landing system contract to deliver astronauts to the moon as early as 2024, choosing Elon Musk's company over Blue Origin and defense contractor Dynetics. Many figures in the space and science communities are seeking more details about how NASA chose only SpaceX for its return to the moon, even though the agency's stated plans called for two commercial partners. Blue Origin, the space rocket company backed by billionaire Jeff Bezos, is formally challenging the $2.9 billion moon lander contract awarded by NASA to its rival Elon Musk's SpaceX. While Blue Origin lags behind SpaceX's accomplishments, there are few projects currently being worked out at Blue Origin and are expected to get more traction and focus from Jeff Bezos going forward. In this article, we will walk you through some of those projects which are quite interesting. The space tourism. It is likely going to be one of the sought-after tourism segment for wealthy individuals in coming decades. While there are many players already working on this, Blue Origin is inching closer with the new Shepard suborbital launch vehicle, named after Alan Shepard who was the first American to go into space. Blue Origin's plan is to offer a 100-kilometer, or 62-mile journey above Earth's surface that lasts 11 minutes. Since new Shepard launch vehicle is fully reusable, it should eventually reduce the overall cost, per mission. The new Shepard launch system is a 60-foot-tall rocket with a pressurized crew capsule that can carry six people and supports a full-envelope launch escape system that can separate the capsule from the booster rocket anywhere during the ascent. The capsule will have windows that comprise one-third of the capsule's surface structure that allows passengers to have a view of the planet curve and the vast darkness of the cosmos. As per Blue Origin, very detail of the capsule has been precision engineered for customer safety and comfort. With reclining seats specifically designed to absorb the impact of landing, and an escape motor that can safely propel the capsule from the booster rocket. The most recent successful flight of New Shepard was on April 14, 2021, when it successfully tested New Shepard launch vehicle with capsule on top. Both booster and the capsule landed smoothly within about 10 minutes of launch. During the flight, the capsule reached a peak altitude of 105 kilometers above ground level. This crew rehearsal mission brings Blue Origin one step closer to launching crews and tourists into space anytime soon. Heavy commercial launches. The rocket system called New Glenn is under development at Blue Origin, is named after pioneering astronaut John Glenn. It is a 310-foot reusable heavy lift launch vehicle designed for a minimum of 25 flights. The New Glenn going to be Blue Origin's first orbital launch vehicle, possibly enabling them to carry payloads up to 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit, and 13 metric tons to geostationary transfer orbit. It can also well be used for ferrying astronauts, payloads, and tourists to International Space Station in the near future. The fairing size of New Glenn rocket going to be 7 meters in diameter, and 21.9 meters height offering 450 cubic meters usable volume. Jeff Bezos' company so far has invested up to $2.5 billion for the development for New Glenn rocket, and have already lined up few customers such as Telesat, OneWeb, and few others. NASA has now greenlighted Blue Origin for future Earth observation missions, planetary expeditions, and satellite launches with its new Glenn rocket, taking the space company one step closer to the stars. The Nuclear Spacecraft The Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, also called DAPRA, has recently selected Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin and Lockheed Martin to independently develop spacecraft concepts for a demonstration of nuclear thermal propulsion system. The nuclear reactor for this system will be developed by General Atomics. Goal here is to develop a spacecraft which uses nuclear thermal propulsion system which can fly in low Earth orbit by 2025. As per the Defense Agency, this technology will be foundational to future operations in space beyond low Earth orbit. Since nuclear thermal propulsion system could achieve a high thrust-to-weight ratio, enabling the spacecraft to rapidly maneuver in orbit. The Lunar Gravity Simulation at one-sixth that of Earth, the unique gravity of the lunar surface is one of the many variable conditions that technologies bound for the moon will need to perform well in. And at present, the experiments requiring moon-like conditions usually require a parabolic flight, which only offers a few seconds of lunar gravity at a time, or a centrifuge, which is limited by its size. Starting in 2022, Blue Origin plans to deliver moon gravity-style missions on space flights much closer to Earth, and NASA is first customer to leverage the facility. NASA will use the facility provided by Blue Origin in order to prepare for actual missions to the moon by astronauts in the near future. As per NASA, the testing those innovations in lunar gravity is key for future lunar missions. Same facility will be made available for small customers as well, 
to perform any experiments at lunar gravity environments. Blue Origin will modify its suborbital New Shepard spacecraft to act like a large centrifuge in Earth orbit, gently offering a lunar-like push on the experiments inside the spacecraft. The reaction control system would impart a rotation on the New Shepard capsule. As a result, the entire capsule essentially acts as a large centrifuge to create artificial gravity environments for the payloads inside. Blue Origin's first flight of this capability will target 11 rotations per minute to provide more than 2 minutes of continuous lunar gravity, exposing the technologies to this challenging, but difficult to test conditions. Rocket engines. Blue Origin's BE-4 engine had been selected by United Launch Alliance to provide first-stage rocket engines for ULA's next-generation Vulcan rocket. Using an oxygen-rich staged combustion cycle, BE-4 is capable of producing 2,400 kN thrust with deep throttle capability. United Launch Alliance will use two BE-4s in the main stage of its Vulcan Centaur rocket. Blue Origin already delivered two of those BE-4 rocket engines to United Launch Alliance, and currently undergoing integration testing at its facility. United Launch Alliance is all set to fly its first Vulcan Centaur mission with two B-4 engines sometime in later part of 2021. The same BE-4 engine will also power Blue Origin's own new Glenn rocket system, which is going to be the workhorse for their future heavy-duty commercial launch requirements.